before we get into this video, um, I mentioned at the last video, at the end of the last video, that this was a competition giveaway. I'm going to give you a chance to win first prize of one of our t-shirts. I'm going to give you a chance to win a prize of one of our mugs and then a couple of runner up prizes of key rings at the end of this video. So you've got to watch this video in full now. And the prizes are only up for grab if you're watching this video from 9 a.m. on the morning of its launch because it's a live giveaway. Here's what I'm going to do. You know the Charlie and Me logo that's at the top corner of the screen? You see it there now? That's going to appear and disappear a few times throughout this video. I need you to count from after the title's run how many times that Charlie and Me logo appears on the top of the screen. It'll be in the same place every time. You've seen it on all the videos. It's normally there for the duration of the video. But for this video, it's going to come and go. So when we run the titles and this video starts, you start counting how many of the Charlie and Me times you see the logo. Listen, it's only while this video is live from 9 a.m. the morning of launch. After the titles, start counting that logo. Morning everybody, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog, Summer Holidays 2020. So site one, Morris Castle, site two is where we are now. Look, I haven't even taken the screens down yet. It's 10 minutes to 10 in the morning. Charlie's just sitting here. Deirdre's just finishing tidying up after breakfast. And we're heading to Mannix Point in Carsafine in County Kerry. And that's campsite number three on our summer 2020 holiday See, uh, series of videos. So a little bit of road footage. We had a little bit of dash cam problems yesterday But we got it sorted so a bit of road footage You can skip to here and you'll see us just pulling into Mannix Point because a lot of you'd like to see The entrance to the campsites for those of you towing caravans or driving bigger rigs So a bit of road footage the next time I talk to you We shall be just pulling in to Mannix Point Caravan and Camping Park Carsafine in County Kerry
So we made it to Mannix Point, Cahersavane County Kerry. We came across, as you saw from the road footage, the Ring of Kerry, but I think we came the easy way because Mall's Gap I've done in the car before and it's not something I was looking forward to. But we're here. The campsite is full. Granted, it's the August bank holiday weekend when we're recording this, but it's, it's, it's full. There's nobody getting in here. I have never seen so many tents in a campsite. I mean, the weather when we were driving here was brutal. In fact, when we got here, we were talking to a couple of people and they were all saying that it's absolutely brutal weather, but they don't care. I'm parked here beside a chap that we meet regular when we're in Ardmore. I just met Joanne Rafter, one of our listeners, and she's coming around to show her dog to my dog. Could be something happening there. I hope not, but you never know. He's tiny little thing. Anyway, this campsite, I was here... I'm going to say 20 years ago because it was easily 20 years ago and it hasn't changed a bit. Mortimer is still running the place. Pat is a chap here giving him a hand. He's got a good crew keeping the toilets clean, keeping the campers kitchens clean. I think only the sinks might be open in the campers kitchen because I did see a sign up campers kitchen closed. So I'm assuming that's the cooking. And I did hear a lady ask, could she use the fridge? And he said, no, the campers kitchen is closed. Plenty of tents here. It doesn't seem to be, t be deterring anybody. A lot of caravans and a good mix of motorhomes. If you've never been here before, I do suggest that you ring beforehand because even when all this COVID is, is gone, this place, and I'll show you in a minute, we are right on a seafront and it's beautiful. And there's a bit of a kayak activity. In fact, Deirdre was out walking Charlie while I was setting up and she was saying to us people in swimming. It's not cold this August bank holiday weekend. It's blustery and it's rainy, but it's, it's, it's quite warm. So we will try and get the drone up over the next few days we're here until bank holiday monday because i think to appreciate the size of this site and the different layouts uh we're in valencia the quarter is called valencia there's another place called malls there's another place called pats there's another place called comerfords they're all named after people who have something to do with the establish, establishment of the site which opened in 1984. we'll take a walk around later on but i really would think you'd appreciate it more if we got the drone up when the winds ease off. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where he is, I wouldn't mind, but I did all the driving to get here. He just sat there. I have the windsock on, but I don't know if it's going to help. But I just want to show you where we are, Mannix Point. I'm, re I'm not going to walk around this campsite because I really, really want to show you how brilliant it is and how big it is and all the different areas for tents and caravans and motorhomes and i really need to get the drone up but i'm going to spin this camera and show you the view from where we are just the edge of the campsite so we are just parked over there there's one row of pitches in front of us and then you've got this there's kids in swimming at the moment it's very windy but it's not cold but i think we're going to have a massive downpour but the whole campsite is edged by the sea just around the corner over there there's a selection for tents and then here you can see we have a mix of caravans camper vans every pitch has electric hookup and then the taps are just kind of around the area um, back there, I don't know if you can see it, but that's reception. But I'm really, when the wind dies down, hopefully tomorrow, I'll get the drone up and just show you how big it is. The campsite is full, as I mentioned earlier on. Actually, hang on a second. That boat has been going up and down there since we got here this afternoon. The RNLI were here earlier on. I don't know if they were just carrying out an exercise or if they were helping somebody. But... Um, Oh, this is a fantastic campsite. And as I said, there's so many tents. In fact, if I can get in over there, you can see so many tents over there.
Mannix Point in Carsefine in County Kerry, on the Ring of Kerry. It's a beautiful site. As I said, I was here about 20 years ago. Um, pitches, pr practically every pitch has a view of the sea. And as you saw from the drone footage, the tents are down that way. They're well spaced. There's good space between the camper vans and the caravans and the motorhomes for the COVID thing. On the COVID thing, when you come in, reception, one person at a time. There's all the glass at reception. Into the toilets into the washroom, into the laundry, hand sanitizers, soaps in at the toilets, in at the sinks, hot water, and hand dryers as you're making your way out. The only thing is, depending on where you're parked, if you're parked down with the sea, there's only one toilet block. But look, with us, we've the motorhome, we use our toilets anyway. That's, that's it, and the toilets are a bit dated, but they're clean. He has a great team here cleaning those toilets at regular intervals. Apart from that, you can't fault this place. Most of the pitches are pretty level. If you get the weather, it's a beautiful place to be. Look, it's a beautiful place to be anyway. Again, you saw the views from the drone footage. It's 30 euro a night for us. Uh, it was 26 euro for a unit and two adults, and then four euro electricity showers and all that stuff are free. It's a 10 minute walk into Cars of Inn. There's a shop and petrol station right at the entrance. It's a super value, so you don't really have to go further unless you wanna go for a bite to eat or a few drinks. Apart from that, what can we say? It was great to be here. We spent three nights here. The next place we go to is the Woodlands in Tralee. That will be campsite number four on our holidays 2020. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and click on that bell. You don't have to. And don't forget the podcasts every Wednesday with myself and Chris, the Camping Crew podcast, wherever you listen to your podcasts. We'll talk to you again very soon. And look, some things never change. We'll talk to you again very soon from our fourth campsite of our holiday season 2020. Take care.